Enrolling in your benefits plan is quick and easy. You enroll in your benefits plan, navigate to your email, and find the email from Simply Benefits. Click on the sign up button. On this screen, you're going to set up a password and confirm that password below. Click the continue button. Then you're going to want to fill in all of the requested personal details. Once you get to coverage type, you have three options. Solo is coverage just for you. Duo is coverage for you and a common law partner, spouse, or child. Family is coverage for you and two or more dependents. Select one of these three options. If you and or your dependents are enrolled in another health plan, you can waive your extended healthcare and or dental benefits. If you choose not to waive, you can coordinate your health plan with your dependents to maximize coverage. For this example, we are going to waive extended health care for ourselves and dependents. To do this, click on Waive, Myself and Dependents, Extended Health Care, then click Continue. Fill in your spouse or common law partner's group benefits plan coverage details by entering in their employer, insurance carrier, and certificate number. Enter the number of dependents you have, then fill in the requested details for each dependent and their relationship to you. If you add an email address for your dependent, they will be given their own login details where they can view coverage, submit claims, and more. If the dependent has additional group benefits, please add them again here. Here you can add beneficiaries. These are individuals that will be assigned to receive any applicable insurance amounts in the event of your death. You can also add contingent beneficiaries, which will receive the proceeds of your benefits if none of your designated primary beneficiaries are alive at the time of your death. Once you have decided on the number of beneficiaries and contingent beneficiaries, click on the continue button. Here you will fill out the details for each beneficiary. Make sure that the share percentage between your beneficiaries are equal to 100%. Now select the type that you would like to set. A revocable beneficiary can be changed by you at any time, whereas an irrevocable beneficiary cannot be changed, and you cannot make changes to your plan without written consent from this irrevocable beneficiary. Once that is complete, click on the continue button at the bottom. A trustee is the person who will manage your benefits upon your death on behalf of any beneficiaries under the age of 18. This is normally apparent, however, if none are living, indicate a responsible family member or close friend. Once you have filled in the details, click on the continue button. If you are given a pooled spending account, set the maximums for each account here. You can divide the total amounts available between your HSA and LSA however you'd like. Remember that these amounts cannot be changed later. Your health spending account or HSA account is a non-taxable benefit which is used to top off a service where your reimbursement percentage is less than 100%, cover the cost of health expenses and services not covered by your plan, and pay for services that have hit the maximum amount of usage on your plan. Your lifestyle spending account or LSA account is a taxable benefit and will count as income earned during the tax season. You can use this benefit to buy health goods and services specified by your employer that are not included in your health plan, such as a gym membership, workout clothing, fitness tracker, etc. In this example, we are going to make our maximums for each account equal. Finally, confirm your details by checking the acknowledgement box, filling in your name, signature, and date. Then click on the finish button. You are now an enrolled member. Now just log into your account and add your banking details to be reimbursed for claims.